Ever since we found out that Roblox isn't coming to the Quest anytime soon, I've been asked questions. Is there any way of getting it on there unofficially? Or is there any means you can get it on there if you don't have a gaming PC? Well, I've got great news for you. What is up everyone? I hope you're all doing fantastic today. I'm Mystical, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can play Roblox VR on your Quest 2, Quest Pro, or Quest 1 without actually owning a gaming PC. This is going to be easy, let's get right into the video. So first things first, the way we are going to achieve this is actually a way that a lot of people have recommended down in the comment section below. We're going to be using cloud gaming. And for this video, we're going to be using Plutosphere, my favorite service for cloud gaming. No, I'm not sponsored by them in any way, even though I did actually end up getting free credits from them yesterday after my PC wouldn't turn on. So I guess you can say they did give me free credits. I think it's a fantastic service and a lot of people actually got to try it out back in the day when they were handing out the machines for free as a test run. They've come a really long way since then. They've got a new UI and everything. It's it's incredible. And the staff is super friendly. I can't give it enough praise, seriously. But with all that being said, today's video is going to be done all entirely on the Quest. We're not going to use any PC or anything, just to make it as simple as possible for you. And uh, yeah, let's jump right in. So I will be using the Quest Pro for this one, just because the Quest Pro is faster than the Quest 2. And it will not have any impact on the game itself because it's cloud game gaming, but I just prefer using something that's a little bit faster in order to uh, make the video more enjoyable for you guys. So first things first, you're going to want to launch the browser on your quest. Go to the Plutosphere site, which looks just like this, and I'm going to leave a link to it down below. If you've never signed up, go ahead and sign up. Then click enter up in the top right, right up here. As you can see, I'm already signed in. I've got all the tokens right there. Now, if you guys want to buy tokens, it does cost money, which is why I understand that this isn't going to be for everyone, but this is just the only way I can see us doing it right now until Roblox actually releases on the quest. Now, I do think that the tokens are actually a perfectly reasonable price. Uh, if I go to buy tokens, I can show you guys how much the tokens cost. You can even sign up for a service that is going to give you persistent storage where you can pay monthly. So for example, $34.99 a month is 20000 tokens, which will allow you to not only play Roblox, but any PC VR game that you might want throughout the month. So once you're on this site, all you want to do is you just want to flick on your machine once you've got the tokens. And as you can see here, it eats up 600 tokens an hour and tokens are not used during startup. So once your machine starts up, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click go to desktop. Now, I can't do that because I've got a legacy account, so some things aren't working. So we need to switch to my other account. So this is the legacy dashboard. And the only reason I'm here is because I have a legacy account. You won't need to be here. You'll get the nice new UI that was there a few seconds earlier. But it's essentially the exact same thing. Start up your machine and then click the little uh, Windows icon. That will actually bring you right there to your desktop, which means you will have a fully blown working Windows gaming PC on your Quest, giving you access to not just Roblox. So while my machine is starting up there, it can sometimes take a little while. Here it says it can take up to 15 minutes to connect to your machine. So we're going to let that sit and I will be right back to you guys once it's connected. So when your Plutosphere machine is ready, this is something like you, what you're going to see. Your Plutosphere machine is ready. What you want to do then is you literally just want to click on this button right here, or for you, it's going to be that big Windows button, and you're going to be taken to the desktop vision application. All you want to do is press continue here, and you will be brought right to your desktop, where you can sign into your Steam account and download anything you might need. So Pluto does actually have an official application to allow you to connect to their software without paying for virtual desktop. However, I have virtual desktop, and because most of you watching this are not going to have a PC to be able to sideload that Plutosphere application, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and download virtual desktop, just so that, like I promised, we are going to do everything on the Quest itself. So once we're here, we're going to want to bring up the keyboard, which is right here, and we are going to find virtual. Perfect. Here we go, virtual desktop and download the streamer app for Windows, then click on it once it's downloaded to install it to your Plutosphere machine. And here we go. That's going to install Virtual Desktop on our computer, which will then allow me to close Desktop Vision and use Virtual Desktop to connect to the machine, which is really, really handy because that means I won't have that keyboard glitch anymore. So let's launch Virtual Desktop Streamer, put in my username and uh, get started. Let's close on this, sign in with our Oculus username. 
and here we go. Now that I can click save with my username on there, I can hop into my virtual desktop application and jump right into our Plutosphere machine, which should show up right here on the list. So here you can see the Plutosphere machine. Now it does say it's not on the same local network, but that doesn't actually matter. You should still be able to establish a connection. And once you do that, it'll bring you right to the desktop, where on the desktop, you will see that you now have a running Windows PC, basically just on your quest. Now let me sign into my Steam account. Once you've signed into your Steam account, you might see an error message telling you that the VR headset isn't ready or isn't connected or something like that. That. What you want to do is you want to fire up Virtual Desktop's settings just by pressing the settings button on your controller and clicking Exit Steam VR. Once you've clicked Exit Steam VR, click Launch Steam VR, and that should bring you right into virtual reality using Virtual Desktop. Wow, that's incredible. So you can see here, uh, yes, my Quest Pro controllers show up as Quest 2 controllers, but you can see here I have full access to Steam VR. I am not connected to my home PC right now. I could literally be anywhere in the world and have access to this right now. Now that you know all that is working, it's time we actually download Roblox onto the machine. This is super easy. All you do is you just launch Chrome again, go onto Roblox website, and on Roblox's website, you choose a game of your liking. The second you choose that game, it's going to ask you to install the Roblox launcher. So you just click, yes, I want to do that. Click on the launcher once it's downloaded, install it to the Plutosphere machine, and then you can play any Roblox game of your choosing right there on your Plutosphere machine. See, this is all really, really easy. It's very self-explanatory once you get to the stage where your Plutosphere machine is actually on and you're connected to it. And then using virtual desktop is really, really simple. Uh, I am going to make my screen smaller so that I can actually see the entire thing. And as you can see now, the game has been installed successfully. And all I need to do here is always allow and open Roblox. That's going to say starting Roblox. And hopefully all going well, we will actually just be thrown into the game. Okay, so I can already see that I can look around. So now I can switch to VR. Here we are. Okay, so while that was working, I could not figure out how to hide the controls that were showing up above me. So instead, uh, we're gonna choose something else. And again, that's just as simple as heading back to our main machine right here, VR Playground. That sounds like fun. Let's try that. So as you can see, that is everything 100% working there. And now I'm not a master at VR Roblox in any way, shape or form, as you could probably see there. I could barely figure out the controls, but the game works pretty much flawlessly. I can see no issues with it. And I did notice the new UI that Roblox implemented for VR, which is really, really cool. It shows me that they are getting closer and they are slowly getting to the point where they might be releasing soon. But yeah, there you go. That's it. That's how you can play Roblox without owning a PC on your Quest, Quest 2, or Quest Pro, and any other PC VR game that you might want to try as well. As you can see there, I've probably got a line on my forehead from the Quest Pro because I still can't wear it correctly, but that is really, really easy. And not only does it give you access to Roblox inside VR, but it also gives you access to any other PC VR game that you might want to play that you're unable to play because you don't have a gaming PC. All you need is to have rather decent internet. We actually even tried this on mobile data and it worked, so you don't need to have incredible internet. Yes, I know it's not ideal, for everyone, as you do need to pay for tokens. But hey, Plutosphere costs money to run, so don't put that against them. And yeah, this gives you a way of playing your favorite PC VR games or Roblox until Roblox goes ahead and releases it officially for the Quest 2 and Quest 3, hopefully later on this year. But uh, yeah, I hope this video helped you guys out. I saw a ton of comments recommending I try this down below and a ton of people asking me for a tutorial like this down below. How do I get Roblox working on Plutosphere? How simple is it? How long does it take and does it work? So yeah, I'll leave a link to the Plutosphere Discord down below for you guys to check out. The staff and community on there are super friendly and they helped me out in minutes yesterday when I had issues starting my machine. Seriously, you guys are like lightning speed. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do leave a like. If you disliked it, I guess this button works too, but let me know why down below. If you guys are not yet part of our community, check out our Discord down below and check out our Reddit where I want to see you posting your spicy memes. And thank you so much to the Patreon supporting this channel. You guys help me out a ton, pay my bills, pay my subscriptions and help me make these videos better. And as usual, if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.